the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Hello ladies and gentlemen, you are now watching The Controversy 7. I want to say first of all thank you for tuning in and for joining me at this hour. Secondly, I just want to say this because I know that many people are going to dislike me after this video. But however harsh the truth may be, I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. If I tell you what you want to hear, I'm not helping you at all. I'm not doing you any favors and I'm not even doing anything for myself. So I'm only here to give you that which is truth. Have you ever had the time to ever think once in your life? Have you ever thought about this, this issue of, of how people can be possessed? How can someone be possessed by many devils, yet there is only one Holy Spirit of God that needs to occupy your, your mind, body and soul? Have you ever thought about that? How come a person can be possessed by seven demons, yet only one Holy Spirit of God is required to, to gain, to have full control over you? Have you ever thought about that? Well, this video is going to walk through all of these steps. Most of you are probably not going to like me due to the content of information which I'm sharing with you. However, I have to stand my ground. We are living in the days in which Lucifer has successfully deceived the multitude of nations. And now, we are getting closer and closer to the grandest deception that Lucifer has in store for the entire world. Here's the thing though, you must understand that there are certain spirits of the last days that Satan has sent out to do their work and to prepare people's minds into accepting Lucifer when he reveals himself. Each spirit with its own specialty. However, the one which I'm going to focus my target on, you may not necessarily understand it at this point but you will understand it at the end of the program. This is what I'm going to tell you right now. The spirit which I'm going to focus my attention on is that spirit of homosexuality. That is what I want to focus on. See, understand this. In order for Satan to be able to pull the, great, the greatest deception of all time, he first must turn the tables around and bring the world back in a distracted state just as it was in the days of Lot, in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. And that is exactly what he also did in the days of Noah, before the flood. The people were blinded by sin. They were preoccupied, they were distracted, occupied by the demons of Lucifer, to the point where they completely silenced the voice of the Holy Spirit. They could no longer hear their conscience, they could no longer hear the good voice telling them good advices. All they knew was evil and that is what led to their destruction by the great flood. This we are all well aware of. Now the world is exactly just as it was in the days of Lot and in the days of Noah. Here's an important strategy that Lucifer uses. First. 
he distracts you. Secondly, he disrupts you. Then third, he destroys you. This is the Controversy 7. I'm inviting you now to join me as we now go to uncover these interesting facts. Without going any further, let's now begin. It is interesting to note that the minute we hear the term demonic, we instantly think of something very sinister. We think of something that is very wicked and cruel. Or we think of something that is far beyond the ordinary or that which is beyond the norm. However, my challenge to you at this time is to let you know that there are so many demonic things that people are accepting in their lives without them even knowing that it is of the demonic nature. Most people today do not understand what it means to be demon possessed. To be demon possessed, most people think that you would have to be acting animalistic. And therefore, by having such claims, most people automatically deem themselves to be clean and that they are free of any demon spirits. I want to let you know this my friends, that instead of thinking of something very obvious and very demonic and very wicked and cruel, I want you to think, I want you to keep in mind that many things which are demonic actually tend to be subtle in nature and therefore many people fall for it. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to hear in this presentation may very well disturb you and shake you out of your comfort zone and this i am very well aware that many people are going to hate me for this and i know that many people are going to unsubscribe because of the content of information which i'm going to share with you but regardless of what you are going to say if you're going to hate me you can go ahead and hate me however i'm going to tell you the truth how it is let's talk about this issue i'm doing this because i've received a request about this issue of homosexuality I want to begin by giving you this heads up. This is what you are going to find out at the end of this video. Point number one, it only takes one, only one Holy Spirit of God to occupy your mind, body and soul. And He, the Holy Spirit, is able to lead you and guide you into all truths. And that's exactly what the scripture says in John chapter 16 verses 13. I say glory to God for this. It only takes one Holy Spirit of God to lead us into all truth. However, on the other hand, how many devils does it take to have full control of an individual? This is the very important concept you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen. You see, if we observe, by observing the spiritual warfare, we will find that it takes many demons to have full control of an individual. And while it takes many demons to lead someone astray and to have full control of them, it only takes God's Holy Spirit who is singular. He is the one that's able to lead us into all truth, not some truths, not 99.999% truth, but all truth. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he saith, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh with himself seven other spirits, more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. You see, by reading this Bible verse, we can see clearly that we have the power to resist the temptation that the enemy brings on us. And you see, when we resist that certain spirit, it becomes weak. Therefore, it cannot be able to get the job done. And the Bible tells us that when we resist these spirits of devils, they are weakened. And what happens is they go and they bring other devils more powerful than themselves and then they put you into more temptation but when you resist them they go and bring other demons more powerful than themselves that is how it works this will continue until 
they find your weakness and once they have found your weakness they will then feed off of that weakness and then they will take over you for example let us say that you are a calm person you are very slow to anger and the spirit of anger and short temper tried to tempt you and tried to cause you to be angry but you resisted that spirit that spirit then goes and brings the spirit of lust and tried to put you into temptation of looking at pornographic sites and you resist them then they go and bring another spirit with them which would be the spirit of distraction through this spirit of distraction they were able to then put you into playing video games and after becoming hooked onto video games online video games you begin to notice that your words and your actions begin to change and the spirit of anger begins to invoke your spirit and you become more and more angry much more quickly than you did before and here's the interesting thing once you allow one central spirit to take full control of that part of your life it has already opened the door there is an access entrance a free entrance to your body the other spirits can enter your life now freely because that door is wide open and you you did not shut that door by confessing of your sins and turning to Jesus Christ your savior you don't have the power to close the door only Jesus Christ has the power to close the door and to get rid of the devils now listen to this question why does it take many spirits of devils to bring a person down whereas opposed to only having one spirit to take us down the answers are very easy and it actually stands out right in front of our eyes right in the scripture itself satan is well organized his demons are well organized they have their own specialties a man can be possessed with legions legions being hundreds upon hundreds of demons when you have legions in you you act completely animalistic you are completely out of your mind why is that it's because you have many different demons within you with many different specialties satan has well organized himself in such a way that his race of fallen angels perform their tasks according to their specialties i will point out the few but obvious spirits there are those spirits which are only specialized in lust alongside those are the spirits of perversion their jobs are to attack the commandment which forbids adultery they are responsible for adultery fornication and much more then we have the spirits which cause confusion and misunderstanding those spirits they are primarily to focus on families and marriages and to corrupt the minds of people then there are those who are to focus only on global affairs global world affairs they cause distress among nations they cause confusion between world leaders they cause global world wars they are the ones who are behind governmental affairs anyways all of this is just only to give you an idea of what they are like they are well organized and now that you understand this concept i want to now bring to your attention the different types of spirits of devils alongside it will be the bible verse that supports it so that you can go and expand your own understanding on it before you watch part two this will be the cornerstone that supports the foundation which I have already set forth and you will know that behind homosexuality is in fact a very dangerous devil there's a spirit of bondage a spirit of depression and despair there's the spirit of infirmity there's also a spirit of fear there's the spirit of divination witchcraft satanism devil worship and that is what we're seeing in Hollywood there's the spirit of lust which we're all well aware of there's also the effeminate spirit which is the spirit of homosexuality bisexual transvestite and many others they all fit in this category and this is what we are going to be focusing on there's the spirit of jealousy which all of us already know then there's also that spirit of antichrist there are people who hate the name of god there are those who feel offended when you mention the name of jesus christ if you 
feel offended, you need to observe yourself and you need to confess of your sins and turn to God. And let's not forget, there's the spirit of anger. There's the spirit of insanity where you lose your mind. Then there's also the spirit of deafness and dumbness where you cannot hear and neither can you speak because your tongue babbles and you cannot speak, you cannot pronounce any words. All of you know this already. There's that spirit of uncleanness, foul, unclean spirits. Then we have, of course, the legion. Again, what is a legion? Well, a legion is a group of demons, hundreds of demons. Then there's that lying spirit, spirit of lying and deception, delusion. All of these are characteristics of Lucifer. Then there's a tormenting spirit, which gives you pain and sickness, certain different feelings in your body. You go to the doctors to check. They cannot diagnose anything because they cannot find anything wrong with you. This is something undetectable by any human technology. Now, to save time, I'm just going to list the rest and you can read it for yourself and you can go and do your own research. Also, at this point, I'm going to announce that part 1 is officially over. It's time for part 2. However, I am not going to upload part 2 until a later time of my choosing. You now have a few days in between now and part 2 to go and do your own research before I upload the next video. Part 2 is going to be about the controversy of are you born gay? Is there a gay gene? Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz, do you have any idea what you just got yourself into? <laughs> I'll see you in part 2. <laughs>